Welcome to Design Fusion's Solid Edge blog. This is part one of a three part series on weldments and solid edge. Part one is an introduction to weldments. Solid Edge provides a set of commands that you can use to add weldment specific data to an assembly or part file. For example, you can use material removal commands to prepare part faces for welding operations, add fillet and groove welds between parts, or label edges that require welding on the physical parts. Before you can access the weldment specific commands in the assembly environment, you must specify that the assembly document is a weldment assembly. You use the weldment assembly command to specify that the current assembly document is a weldment assembly. The mark this assembly as a weldment option on the weldment assembly dialog box activates the weldment specific commands in the assembly environment. It also allows you to set other weldment properties such as the component material, bead material, weld bead color, weld bead density, and so forth. Once the assembly is marked as a weldment assembly, you have access to the weldment feature commands and the add material assembly feature commands. This slide illustrates the difference between the assembly feature commands that are available in a regular assembly and in a weldment assembly. You are not required to add weld bead material to your weldments. When you add weld bead material, the bead volume is used when you calculate the physical properties of the weldment assembly. The material addition commands in the assembly environment work similar to the corresponding commands in the part environment, but there are some important differences. Open profiles are not allowed, and when two protrusions intersect, they are not combined into one single body. The weld bead features you construct are not combined into solid bodies of the parts they touch. These features are similar to parts in an assembly as they are separate solid bodies and not combined with the parts in the weldment assembly. The commands on the weld beads group allow you to add weld bead material to the weldment assembly. You can define colors for the weld bead material which makes it easier to differentiate between weld bead material and the parts in the assembly. You can construct fillet welds, groove welds, and stitch welds, which are illustrated on this slide. You can also construct material addition features that represent weld bead material using protrusions, revolve protrusions, and sweat protrusions. You can add weld labels to weld bead features you construct using the protrusion commands. You can also add a weld label to a part edge. The weld label options dialog box allows you to define the weld symbol attributes you want. The edges you label with the label weld command display in the construction color. You can also label weld bead features you construct using the material addition commands. When you add a weld label to a material addition feature, the color of the feature changes to the weld bead's color. This color change makes it easier for you to see which material addition features still require weld label attributes. This slide lists the typical steps required to place a weld label. To better understand how to turn an assembly into a weldment assembly, and how to place weld labels. Let's have a look at this in Solid Edge. I've created this small assembly to demonstrate some of the weldment commands. First, I need to mark this as a weldment assembly. To do this, I go to the Features tab and select the weldment command from the Assembly Weld Features group. To mark this as a weldment assembly, I toggle on the Mark the Assembly as a Weldment option. I can modify the other settings on this dialog or just use the default settings. For this example, I'll change the bead style to red so I can highlight what happens when I place the weld label. Next, I'll select the weld label command. On the vertical command bar, I'll click on the option button. 
This launches the Label Weld Options dialog. Here I can define the weld symbol attributes that I wish to use. For this example, I'll just use a quarter inch or 6.35 millimeter weld bead. Now I can select the edge of a part that I want to be welded. Notice that the edge of the part has turned red, indicating that the weld label attributes have been attached to this edge. I can also select the edge of this protruded assembly feature. Notice that the entire feature turns red, indicating that this material addition feature represents the weld bead for the label. Also notice that the two label features have been listed under the assembly features header in the Pathfinder. That's a quick introduction to weldments in Solid Edge. In part two of this series, we'll look at the weld bead commands. Want to learn more? please sign up to our customer portal at the website listed here where you have access to knowledge base articles, tips and tricks, how-to articles, and much more. If you need additional support, contact our support team at support at designfusion.com or call us at 1-877-215-1883.